Hi, I'm public speaking coach Milo Shapiro, and welcome to Business Advantage, the show where we focus on one business per episode, one that has the potential to give you the advantage. Recently, I told someone that I needed a business headshot from them, and I could tell even before I saw the towel rack behind her that she'd taken it in a bathroom mirror. Even if you know better than that, the difference between a home-taken headshot and one that's captivating and brings out your personal branding can be tremendous. My guest today has been a full-time photographer, a professional photographer, since 1997. From Maine back then to San Diego now, she has provided thousands of clients with wedding, event, newborn, business, and personal branding photography services. She can still do all of that, but now she primarily specializes in headshot, personal branding, and product photography. Hiring the right photographer for, for your needs can be tricky. So we'll be asking her questions that can help you avoid mistakes and get the best work. Sarah Morgan of Sarah Morgan Photography, welcome to Business Advantage, and I'm so glad you can be here with us. Thank you, Milo. I'm happy to be here. Great. All right, so let's dig right, jump right in. I could try and guess, but I'm going to ask you straight out, right? What are some of the questions I should be asking before I hire a photographer? The first thing you want to do is ask for their website and social media links. And you want to go to them and make sure that their style matches your needs and what your vision is for your photos, because they could have a totally different style. And so then it's just not a good match and you just move on to the next. Um, another thing is ask how long they've been in business and what their process is for doing either a headshot or what, what their sessions that, that they offer and how they go about doing those. Another thing I recommend asking is if they're a member of Professional Photographers of America, because then they are a serious professional photographer. I like the idea of seeing different people's styles because, boy, it really does vary from person to person. Absolutely. I, yeah. I, I know that a lot of people put off doing their headshots over and over again, either because they're shy or, and I have one person I know is going to watch this and see herself in it, because they think they're not photogenic. So these people still need their business photos, though. What do you do to help people like that? Well, camera shy clients are my favorites because I'm super camera shy. I don't love being in front of the camera, but I've found that helping them prepare, it helps them calm down. Once we go over the location, I go over exactly what they're gonna wear in their shoe, what their branding colors are, what they should wear to match their branding colors, where they're gonna put their images. So we know kind of, we get a sense of where we need to photograph them, where they're going to be using those photos. So just having them do all this preparation ahead of time seems to help calm them down. Also, during shoots, I like to have fun and I can be a little goofy and silly. And you can, I, I remember. Laughing. Yeah. <laughs> and so we, it's, it's not rocket science. It's, you know, it, we're having fun and I want them to look authentic in their photos. And people that are having a good time tend to look more authentic. I remember you making me laugh a few times and that got us some really great smiles when we did the shoot that we did. Absolutely. Together. Yeah. So you've mentioned personal branding a number of times. And I want, I have assumed some people listening will go, I'm not quite sure what she means by that. What, what exactly do you mean by personal branding? So personal branding is a relatively new genre of photography. And what it's done is it's taken headshots and expanded on them. So instead of just a head and shoulder shot, it's more of a, story about you and your business and your unique brand. And we do that through magazine style imagery. So we will go on location, we'll go to where you work, we will have your family in if they're part of your business or, you know, even part of your life, part of your story. So it just is, a, it's expanding on just a regular business headshot. That makes sense. And I'm going to do a little sharing now. I know that you distinguish between headshots and personal branding photography. So what is the difference in your mind? And would you share a few of your examples with us? Yes. So headshots are basically head and shoulder images such as this. This is the perfect business headshot. It basically is just a clean, very simple um, headshot for, to use on your business cards, um, for profile pictures, and on your website. Mm -hmm. And that's about all you really can do with um, a basic headshot. Makes sense. LinkedIn, and that's, that that seems profile. right for business. So now let's see some that are in that world of personal branding. 
Okay, so personal branding, as I said, it tells more of a story. So this is April. She's oh, a I realtor, she's a speaker, and she's fun and approachable. So these images help to tell a little bit of her story. This is Wesley. He's a CEO of a company. Again, he wanted to look approachable. He does podcasts, and yet he's a successful business person. So it just tells a little bit more about who the person is. Terry sells products. She's beautiful. She sells beauty products. Uh, Michelle is the uh, CEO of a video group. So these images tell a little bit of her story. Show I feel like I, I feel like I know her a little bit more than just the headshot watching this. Right, right. And they're look more, how playful um, in the middle there. They're more lifestyle and they're more action too than just a static head and shoulder shot. Okay, great. Well, thank you for sharing those with us. So. I'm wondering, it's probably not for everyone, who's a good candidate for a personal branding? Actually, everyone with a business or everyone who is online, even um, social media influencers who they're just influencing, they need images all the time. Um, I, I work with all different kinds of people, CEOs, I work with hairstylists, I work with creatives, real estate agents, attorneys, dentists, anyone who has an online presence and they need to mix some professional images in with their personal and their fun images. To, they, I want these images to kind of capture their dream client's attention and keep them hooked so they'll follow them. I guess that makes sense. If you have a business, you have a presence. And if you have a presence, you wanna be in charge of it and not have it kind of happen accidentally. Right, you need to plan your social media for sure. And it's, it's hard. So if, be, there's different people behind the cameras for different reasons. What is the difference between a wedding and a portrait photographer? Like those different kinds of situations or should right. you use the same person for both? Cause they're good. Well, it depends. It, there are people that are wedding and portrait photographers. Usually it, it, that's a lot. Most people either focus on wedding or portrait. Yeah, I've Just noticed because that. It's, it's a lot of marketing. It's a lot of, you, you can't be everything to everybody. So wedding photographers are really, they're really more like photojournalists. You're there to capture a day and you're there to capture moments within that day. You're not there to create anything. You're there to just be reactive to what is happening and catch those special moments for the bride and groom. Yes, there's those, those times when you're doing family portraits, they're usually very quick. That's a very short window of time during a wedding. A portrait photographer is actually creating everything. We're taking care of the lighting, we're creating a set, we're creating a mood, and then we're creating a portrait. So it's really, a difference of being reactive or being creative. And like I said, some people do do both, but most kind of lean one way or another. Makes sense. Leslie, what's the geography you work in and how might people best reach you? I work all throughout San Diego, East County, North County, the beaches. Um, the best way to contact me is through my website, www.sarahmorganphotography.com, or they can um, check me out on Instagram at Sarah Morgan Photography. Sounds great. Sarah, I want to thank you for being with us today. This was fun. Thank you. If you'd like to be a guest on Business Advantage or see other episodes, visit businessadvantage.xyz. And if you'd like to learn more about improving your public speaking skills, visit the homepage for miloshapiro.com. Till next time, I am Milo Shapiro, wishing you good health, good times, and good business.